Dan Sri Muhyiddin Yassin today announced his cabinet of 31 ministers, and for the first time in Malaysian history, no deputy prime minister was named. The Prime Minister instead announced the appointment of four senior ministers, namely Datuk Sri Muhammad Azmin Ali, Datuk Sri Ismail Sabri Yaakob, Datuk Sri Fadila Yusof and Dr Muhammad Radzi Madjidin. Datuk Sri Azmin will be helming the International Trade and Industry Ministry, Datuk Sri Ismail as the Defence Minister, Datuk Sri Fadila as the Works Minister and Dr Muhammad Radzi as the Education Minister. Menteri-menteri kanan akan membantu saya untuk menjalankan tugas sebagai Perdana Menteri termasuklah memperusikan mesyuarat Kabinet di waktu ketiadaan saya di dalam negara. Dengan adanya menteri-menteri kanan ini, maka tiada keperluan pada masa ini untuk seorang timbalan Perdana Menteri dilantik. The new cabinet will take their oath of office tomorrow before the Yang Dipertuan Agong at Istana Melawati at 3 p.m. Prior to the announcement, the functional cabinet has been screened by the police and the Malaysian Anti-Corruption Commission, MACC. The Prime Minister also drew non-politicians for his cabinet with the appointment of CIMB Group Chief Executive Officer Datuk Sri Tengku Zafrul Tengku Abdul Aziz as the Finance Minister. He will be assisted by two Deputy Ministers, namely Datuk Dr Ma Hang Soon and Muslimin Yahaya. Meanwhile, was appointed as Minister in the Prime Minister's Department in charge of religious affairs. He will be sworn in as a Senator at a later date. The new cabinet also saw the return of former Barisan National Ministers. Notable faces were Kairi Jamaluddin, previously a Youth and Sports Minister, is now the Science, Technology and Innovation Minister. MCA President Datuk Sri Dr. Wee Ka Siong, who is the sole Chinese full minister in the cabinet, will helm the transportation portfolio. While the only Indian representative in the cabinet, MIC's Datuk Sri M. Saravanan, was appointed the Human Resources Minister. Four new ministries and portfolios were also announced in the lineup. The Higher Education Ministry has been reintroduced with Datuk Dr. Raini Afma as the minister. A Unity Ministry and Environment Ministry were also established with Datuk Halima Muhammad Sadiq and PASA's Deputy President Datuk Tuan Ibrahim Tuan Man as the ministers respectively. Datuk Sri Dr. Maximus Jonithi Onkili has been appointed to be in charge of a new portfolio under the Prime Minister's Department, the Sabah and Sarawak Affairs. Among his tasks is to look into the implementation of the Malaysia Agreement 1963. Earlier, Tan Sri Muhyiddin was granted an audience with the Yang Di Pertuan Agong Al Sultan Abdullah Riyatuddin Al Mustafa Bila Shah to present the list of the new cabinet lineup. The official car carrying the Prime Minister was seen entering the main gate of Istana Negara at 10:47 a.m. before leaving for his office two hours later. Tan Sri Muhyiddin, 72, was sworn in as the eighth Prime Minister before Al Sultan Abdullah at Istana Negara on March 1st.